Hi guys, it's Christina and welcome to our VMA panel. We are breaking down everything that happened on last night's show and I am so excited because we are joined by an old friend. Yeah, style yeah, Jackie. expert Jackie Moran. Hi, welcome. Everybody. How I'm are so you? So excited. So excited. I feel like if you're going to recap something, the VMAs is the way to go. Oh, We're totally. Gonna have so much We're fun. We're going to have so much fun and of course our executive editor of Beauty and Style, Gwen Flamberg. How are hey, you? Guys. Hey. It was a long night last it night. It was a long night. It was long mm -hmm. and busy, but there, you know, with some really interesting fashion moments. Oh, totally, and we're gonna break it all down, like we said. And to help us break it down, we have some Kim Crawford Rose and Savignon Blanc, which is the perfect way to talk about VMA fashion, performances, and all the best moments of the night. Exactly. So yes, of course, this is our Wine with the Stars series. So yes, cheers, cheers ladies. Cheers, everybody. Keeps cheers. it interesting. Keeps it interesting, <laughs> yes. You can't do the VMAs with sip, without sipping a little oh, bit of wine. 100%. It's Farrah true. and April say hello. Yes, guys, please send in your questions and your comments, because we would love to hear about your best, worst, and most shocking moments of the night. Yes. So shall we get right to it? Let's do it. All right, let's kick it off with our best dressed of the night. Hands down, Jennifer Lopez. I am bowing down to the queen of everything. All of VMAs last night belonged to Jennifer Lopez. She looks stunning on the carpet in Versace next to her boyfriend, Alex Rodriguez. I mean, she she's aging back, backwards. It's crazy. No, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, J-Lo, you had me at hello. Yeah. Okay, I had to get my Jerry Maguire reference in. <laughs> Honestly, it was like the J-Lo show. It was. And I lived for every second mm -hmm. of it. Um, so now I don't need to go to Vegas, I guess. Because <laughs> no. I feel like we got it in there. But I think, you know, when I first saw her walk on the carpet, she's my pick as well. Mm -hmm. Best dressed, J-Lo Versace. And she was in Versace through the whole night, through right? The whole night. I mean, every who crazy else look. can wear sequin gold joggers no. like that? No. And she, nobody. oh my, nobody. And, and looks so good. I can't <laughs> even. And and her kimono as she was flowing mm -hmm. and flying, and I just live for every second of it. Um, but I, what I will say is, when I first saw that dress come down the carpet, I was like, "We've seen this before." Sure. But you know what? We live for it. This yeah. is the J Lo we live for. She looked exactly how we want her to look. <laughs> I and can't so even. you know what? It was still fresh and still hot mm -hmm. and so J Lo. Yeah. And by the way, on the carpet, did you guys catch that moment when A Rod took a picture of her? And it was kind of like she was sideways, so it sort of looked like he was taking a snap of her awesome butt. Oh, really? <laughs> but you know, it's like, get yourself a man who like snaps her pick so on the carpet. He was so supportive. He was like taking videos of her while he was performing. He, they were really cute together last so night. He so obviously adores her. And I gotta tell you guys, like, yes, she wears a lot of Versace. Yes, maybe we've seen the liquid metal before. I don't care. Uh -huh. The woman, her body, Ugh. her vibe, mm -hmm. that hair. Well, she knows what works for her. She this knows what works for her. Yeah. She gave us that extensions extreme, like a uh, blonde, I love it. blonde and I hair. And I feel like beyond. if you're going to do it, just make sure you constantly top yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what she does. She keeps topping her traditional J-Lo look. Yeah. Yes. So that's why she really knows how to nail mm -hmm. it. You know, and I, when you heard her thank her glam team, yeah, you yeah, realized that. she's course. got like a well, solid foundation. She's got the village. Yeah. She knows how to keep upping the same J-Lo. Game, 100%. Which I like. And you know yeah. what? It is very, very rare to get a unanimous vote for best mm -hmm. dress. I know. So let's drink to drink J Lo. To that. I was just going to say, she needs a toast. A cheers. toast to J Lo. Yeah, everybody. Lisa's saying, can't go wrong with J Lo. Totally agree. Exactly. Agreed. Are you cheersing with us at home, I hope? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> um, another one for me last night was Carly Kloss <gasps> yes. and Ali Saab. I know that you picked that one as well. She looked absolutely beautiful. Um, also, rocking like that metallic sequin look, which I think was pretty popular last night. A lot yes. of people were doing that. It was like a liquid metal. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which made it different from the metallics that we usually see mm -hmm. on the VMA's red carpet. Right, right, Super right. cool. Yeah. And, you know, she's just, you need that supermodel moment. Sure. She had it, and I feel like you kind of always get the sequin memo. No mm -hmm. matter what, there's going to be sequins. Yes. It's the VMA's. It's the VMA's. Mm -hmm. And, again, she just pulled it off sexy, fresh, mm -hmm. and Ellie Saab. And she was another top pick for me. Love that. Yes. Beyond gorgeous. Beyond. Jackie, yes. what, were you, what were some of your other ones? I was going to throw in a few extras. Yeah, okay. go ahead. <laughs> Shay Mitchell. Absolutely, Killer. Killed another it. you know hottie moment. You need, I feel like this is like young, fresh VMAs mm -hmm. for me. Um, she's wearing Nicholas Gibran, and I feel like Very the cool. orange, the stripey. It looks Balmain, doesn't it? It I, really there does. There were a few does. comments I mean, about that, um, but I her thought, body, yes, banging. When she mm -hmm. presented, I was yeah. like. 
Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to Shay. Cheers to do a Shay. toast count. Yeah. to two. Yeah. Um, so I really love that. She was the leggy look of the night. Mm -hmm. Okay, She looked me. incredible. Right, she did. Um, should I throw another one out yes, there? Yes, of course okay. you should. I also really liked Millie Bobby Brown for the mm. cool chic yes. jumpsuits. Yes. Because she's also so young. You forget that she's like 13 or 14 years old. No, no. And you know, I'm not always quick to jump on adding her in, the, in my recap because she is so young. Yes. And she deserves to just wear whatever she wants. I, but when I just give her props for mm -hmm. already being so ahead of her time with her fashion. And I feel like if someone who is, you know, not her and young and wore that jumpsuit, it might be a little bit plain. Sure. But she rocked it and it was like that mature, cool look for her. I love it. Um, I agree. Um, I agree. Excellent. She Perfect. is a bona fide fashion star. Yes. Mm -hmm. She really and is. So young. I'm so young. I know. The jumpsuit had that exaggerated little sleeve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which actually was a very surprising trend of last night. Right. Statement sleeves. And yes. I feel like we've been seeing that. Yeah, we had to throw in a little statement sleeve. <gasps> I feel like we've been seeing the statement sleeves for a few seasons, mm -hmm. but I like seeing that it keeps going somewhere fresh and new. Totally, mm -hmm. and I can't get enough of them. So, Loved. here's a toast. Here's to a toast. Sleeves. <laughs> statement sleeves. <laughs> We're up to three now. We are up to three. Okay, you have one more. Yes, and then I also loved Winnie Harlow mm -hmm. um, for my supermodel, like She's almost gorgeous. like because we all know Carly Kloss is going to yes. be amazing. But I feel like Winnie Harlow, um, even with her nude Zuhair Murad too, uh -huh. she had two looks on the mm -hmm. carpet because she was hosting the pre-show. Yes. Um, I thought for someone who is so over, that's me, mm -hmm. see-through style. We saw a lot of see-through. Which last we'll night. have to yeah. get to. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, she still made me love her looks, sure. even though they she had a little incredible. bit of this year she did look memo incredible. going on, which keeps coming and coming and coming. You know, you can't just you, can't you, know, you can't throw a naked dress out of bed. I'm <laughs> sorry, but you can't. You can't, <laughs> especially on a VMA's red carpet. Yep. Naked is the way that many people go. Some people it's true. maybe shouldn't have gone quite so it's naked. True. I did see. I did we'll see some. That. You know, there was the. Uh, Topless yeah. moments last night, too. We yeah. had a little Kim action yep. arrival. We did, we did see, we did see <laughs> that. We did see that. <laughs> um, anybody else, Jackie? Um, so I feel like we've got Carly, we got Shay. We got, oh, we've got to go with the best blazer of the night, guys. <laughs> Gucci Mane. Hello. Yes, look at that. Come on. I live for a stripe moment. I live for a pink moment. I live for a neon uh -huh. moment. He blended One, two, in so three. well with the background. <laughs> yes. um, well, I love also giving it up for the guys. Yeah, right? exactly. Because we need to give the guys a shout out. Totally. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to the guys. Yes, a yes. toast to the guys. Toast to the guys. But how much fun was that blazer? And so a little inside note, someone actually wore that to the Oscars. Oh, really? This year. So it was like a little bit Ooh, of a... Who wore it best. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. So we're going to have to have an award show guys yes. version who wore, who wore best. best. I um, love that. So totally. actually, if you saw the Oscars version, let us know out there yeah. which one you like better. Totally. Yeah, Luis is saying, how about Blake Lively? White suit was oh. amazing. What do you guys so think of it? It was super chic. <laughs> it felt to me, I have to say, a little mumsy for the VMAs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was like a little mm -hmm. conservative, and it kind of made her look... I mean, dare I say, like a little matronly. Yeah. She's one of the best bodies in Hollywood. 100%. And I'm, I thought it was a little much. I thought yeah. it was a little much, too. We're going to get to Blake Lively a little bit say, more later on. There? We'll, 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 we'll we're go, there. go there. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. Um, Gwen, what was your best dress? I know you had J-Lo. Well, J-Lo, hands down. But I've got to give an honorable mention mm -hmm. to Tayana Taylor's abs, you guys. Oh, my God. That's like How is that the best possible? dress body. Was that? That wasn't, I mean, you know, a little bit crazy this outfit, but you can do it at the VMA. Sure. She kind of always brings a moment like that, mm -hmm. right? And that woman's body. Yes. That I mean, is a come look on. You cannot buy with a no, stylist. No, you cannot. <laughs> no <laughs> matter your stylist, Never you cannot get that look. Never exactly. goes on sale. It's true. No. It's cheers true. to those abs. Okay. <laughs> cheers to the Another abs. Another cheers. Who's cheersing with us at home? I want to hear about it. What, who, you what guys, who else is drinking at 11 a.m.? Just so you know, they put me on the end during these segments so that so I don't have hold a table for the wine. <laughs> and I keep drinking it, and that makes things interesting. I have the bottle over here we can refill anytime. <laughs> we have a lot of access yes, right here. Yes, we do. Okay, so those are all our best dress. Let's move right into our worst dress of the night. Mm -hmm. All across the board, we all agreed on this one. Amber Rose, oh, what were you on. thinking? Come on! What were you thinking? Halloween, it's like Christmas in July. Is yes. this Halloween in August? Because, guys, <laughs> guys, I can't. I mean, here's the thing. Sorry, Christina, no, I'm jumping ahead. right do, in there. Go for it. Here's the thing. When you do kitschy at the mm -hmm. VMAs, I live for a twinning denim moment. Yeah. I mm -hmm. live, you know what I uh -huh. mean? I, but there's... 
there's kitschy that works and kitschy that there's just what is the reason What's the for point? this. Yeah. And honestly, I'm going to see if a sip of wine helps me figure out what happened there because I'm just not sure. Hold on. Well, I she completely don't. agree with <laughs> you. Yeah. Like, makes sense. I was like, one word, why? Why? Just right. like, why? Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing exactly too costumey, too sexy devil. There was no kind of reference to it. Well, she told me on the carpet, because we spoke to her on the carpet, that she was um, honoring Madonna with uh, the pointy right, right. boobs. And that was a very Madonna um, And that was a cup. very Madonna. Yes. She was also promoting her walk that she does every uh, October. I won't say what the name of it is. Cause yes, <laughs> I, I can. Well, right. yeah, okay. Um, we know so that. There was maybe a reason to behind the look, right. but it didn't really, it didn't. It wasn't the right time or place. Yeah, like it just didn't catch on for me. No. Honestly, even Black China, who had like, like the mm -hmm. sexy thing going on. At least there was workmanship there. Sure. Oh, yeah. totally. You know, like I can appreciate the workmanship uh -huh. with the sexy look and make it all happen. Or even Tiana Taylor, like it, it was sexy, but it was cool. Mm -hmm. And this was just like, this was just like here I am and sticking out uh -huh. <laughs> and not in the right direction. No. In any way. <laughs> I mean, should tail. Should tail. She, she did have a tail. tail. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Ugh. So. Wasn't our favorite. I feel like everybody can kind of agree on that I think one. so. I'm sure probably Amber agrees with us as well. Right. Like she wasn't She's going like, there to be on the best dress list. Right. right. She was going there to be talked about, exactly. which is what exactly. she accomplished. But you know, I exactly. love Amber Rose usually brings the, the amazing hair moment, the cool wig yes. moment, and I'm just the amazing makeup moment, and I'm kind of bummed that that was completely shadowed. Yeah. Right. I agree. And I feel like I, I feel like we were missing the costume that worked. Yes. Like there really mm -hmm. wasn't that costume moment that worked. Mm -hmm. And right. so it was a little bit of a letdown. It was in, in that sense it for was. me. Mm -hmm. So maybe we just need to go throw on some costumey looks yeah, and go, maybe. Out, go out with our wine. <laughs> sure. And have a good time. And have a good time. <laughs> okay, another one for me was Tiffany Haddish. Her red carpet look. I wasn't really feeling it. It was kind of like this art deco weird right. thing going on and there was like a weird if you pan if they, if they pan down there's like this weird circle moment surrounding well, it her might not area be the, the, yeah right the circling right. the area circling the area it wasn't my favorite look of the night I mean it, she does look beautiful I loved what she did when she was uh, presenting with Kevin Hart I like that look instead but this yes. didn't really work for me on the red carpet I think the change was much, much better yes. totally. much and appreciated. honestly yeah. she does these sort of eye-catching mm -hmm. like sort of messagey looks which I liked mm -hmm, from her. Mm -hmm. This one, I just either it should have been stronger, yeah, or a little bit cheeker, mm -hmm. like one or the other. Yeah. It didn't it was quite like somewhere master. right in between. Exactly, totally. it was mm -hmm. just a little no man's yes. land totally. with um, Amber, the rest of Amber's. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. Tiffany Haddish so much. I do too. I, I don't think of her as a fashion girl. She can mm -hmm. sort of do no wrong, but. But yeah. take a cue from Tina Fey. <laughs> yeah. She's gone very fashion, and so comedians can do fashion. Comedians That's what I can always do say. fashion. Yes. Yes. Everyone well. can do it, and when you do walk the carpet, mm -hmm. own it. Create that look and own it, and you know you're not just walking out to the grocery store. Sure. So we have the right to be a little judgy. You're absolutely right. right. Yes. Not going to Gelson's. That's what I always say. No, not going I like to Gelson's. It. Put some name Hashtag NGTG. <laughs> yes, well, cheers, to, cheers to Tiffany still being fabulous. Yes, totally. cheers. exactly. Because we have her, I have her in a few other moments oh, yeah, for totally. you guys today. So don't worry, I got you, Tiffany. All right, Jackie, who um, are your worst dressed? <laughs> okay, so I, I feel like the rest of mine are not worst dressed, okay. but just in the, you know. Teetering. Teetering yeah. category <laughs> because Blake Lively, unfortunately for me, was my most disappointing. Mm -hmm. I feel like she brought Annie Hall yes. way before her time. <laughs> Does not need to go there yet. No. I mean, the pants can fit right now. You can work it, you can own it. Uh, you can open up, <laughs> show a little cleave. We could go, you know, like right. you can still so buttoned up. go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while you still can, uh -huh. don't waste the moment. Sure, like, I feel like she's been doing know. a lot of these buttoned up looks over the past week or so, yes, right? She's yeah, she's very with a lot buttoned up. Yep. What is she mm -hmm. hiding? I don't know. Well, what she's done she her, this whole press tour mm -hmm. for her new film. Sure has been all pants. All pants. In fact, yes. yeah, on Stylish, mm -hmm. we have a gallery about Blake giving us a master class in <laughs> pants yes. dressing. And she, and because that's, that's what she's doing. And I guess she's like continuing on this on this thing. But like, dude, it's the VMAs. Right. You know, right. Listen like, up a little bit. But I think she purposefully went there. Sure. It didn't work for me. I appreciate going there and mm -hmm. she committed all the way. But I feel like, you know, when it comes to wearing the pants, she didn't quite wear the pants last night. That's no. all. Oh, she's, yeah. she's, yes, you know, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Gotta throw a little style pun in. <laughs> but I do feel that she has been rocking the suit. So once in a while, you're going to have a little miss. Yeah. And so this was my miss. But 
you know, not like it was horrible. Sure, but it no, was just my miss. It wasn't the worst thing. Yes. But you don't want to loosen up a little bit at the VMAs. It also wasn't flattering, it guys. Wasn't, no. Let's be honest. You know, it was the total opposite of Amber Rose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the literal polar opposite. <laughs> literal opposite. True. Um, True. So, White. honestly, it, if, right, and I love a good all white head to toe look. Mm -hmm. I always believe in flattering yourself as an expert. I cannot, you know, get on board with. So I think it widened her and it just wasn't all there for me. It wasn't it was there. too much That's there. That's okay. Too much there. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and you had another we'll recover, one? We'll though, because we'll just have a sip of wine. Sure. That, that's the recovery. Here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we have to go with my most see-through. Mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj and <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Um, <laughs> when no. she walked up on that stage, no. I was like, <gasps> Am I? I feel like old because yeah. I'm like put something put on, some go back on. in the house. <laughs> um, so I, I just was literally mesmerized mm -hmm. by how see-through Nicki Minaj was. It really was. And um, I appreciate that Ariana Grande was there to sort of pick her up. <laughs> or was that, or was that Cardi B? I'm getting confused. Who helped her? She had to get help going up the stage. Mm, so for I, I, such I little that one, yeah. for such little coverage, sure. she still had a had lot, lot of lot high of, maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> True, but yeah. I have to say, I couldn't get past the pigtails that were like. Oh my god, they were so caps. long! Amazing. So yeah. I, I honestly, I swear to you, Jackie, yeah, I you did didn't not, even notice. Didn't even notice. How did you didn't not notice? Even notice. When? My eyes were like on those pigtails, the <laughs> yeah. extreme oh. length. But like, my eyes were a little south. Yeah, those pigtails. But like you said, between the pigtails. Sure, but like you said, the see-through moments were so big. Last night, Rita Ora on the carpet yes, too. Oh gorgeous. my gosh! Well, she's gorgeous, but literally, oh yeah, she's nothing left in the imagination. Nothing Absolutely no. nothing. <laughs> Honestly, no. what I will do a toast to is for taking the see through to a level I thought it couldn't even go. Yeah. So, so a gosh. little toast to that, Jackie. Little. A lot of toast. I a lot know. of toast. Well, Our Australian colleague yeah. informed me that it's cocktail time <laughs> in Australia, so I feel Thanks, okay about guys. that. That's it's okay. Perfect. That's okay. All right. So I'm let's just trying to make trouble for you, Gwen, because you keep sipping every. <laughs> It's true. Every time I do the toast, I know. Oh, you're just we're lightly it's sipping. It's also yeah. bad luck not to sip, so that's true. You're gonna have a lot of good luck today. Mm -hmm. I'm I doing love it good for luck. you for good luck. Thank you, babe. Yes, yes. get us through so. our worst dress list. Because by the way, let me just say this: mm -hmm. even when you're the worst dressed, it's still the best. Of course, we're still talking about you. Yeah, Absolutely. because it's the VMAs, and to be the worst is also to be the best. Sure. So everybody wins. Everybody wins. Everybody wins, uh, including Camila Cabello. Camila Cabello, got yes. it. Um, she was all across the board our most shocking moment of the night. Totally. Let's talk yes. about Camilla because she won two of the big awards of the night, Artist of the Year and Video of the Year. Um, kind of confusing because she beat out Childish Gambino, Drake, Cardi B, The Carters, and you know, I, was, I wasn't expecting it at all. I was really thinking that this was Cardi B's year. Nothing against Camilla because she did have a fantastic year and she did do so much, but it just didn't seem like she probably could have warranted video of the year for me. Honestly, for me, this was that good shocking moment yeah. because I like that. I like when everybody's going to have a reaction and maybe she deserved it, maybe she didn't, uh -huh. but she was so adorable. How could you not want to like, eat her up? And honestly, if my brother sings me that song one more time, <laughs> honestly, I you know, I, I guess she kind of, in my head, did deserve, did deserve it in a way because okay. it was the song that was on everybody's mind this year mm -hmm. and I played it probably a thousand million yeah. times. Uh, so, no, and no. she was so cute. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but I feel like, you know, she was so cute with her mom. She and was. Even when she was dancing. She, like, with took over Taylor Swift's spot, like, yes. dancing in the front row. Well, I was yeah. surprised by that, girl. too. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. The camera kept panning to her. I was like, is she really a thing? I mean, a Havana, na, na, na. <laughs> like, I love the song. Love it. But I was totally shocked that she won both of those awards. I was too. And from a style standpoint, mm. she was sort of like dressed for the prom. Yes. That hair. I, like I, I was I, totally like quinceanera hair, which I love, but I don't not know about the VMAs. Not for the VMAs. And knowing that it would be such a big night, yeah, or potentially be such a big night for her, you'd think that she'd want to go like full glam, go all out, and this right. just didn't really. Right. But well, here's I, the think, thing. I think she did feel glam. I think yeah. for her, like mm -hmm. she, I could tell she was, that was actually a reason I left her off my worst okay. dress list because when you're feeling yourself, yeah. <laughs> you kind of sell me sometimes. And I think she was feeling herself in uh -huh. that sort of ink stain look. 
drama sure. thing she had going on, like Ink Stain on a Cloud is what uh -huh. I called it. Oh, oh, that's a very cute right? description, it's, it's, it's a good description. Clever. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> but she sold me. <laughs> she did. Because okay. I, her energy sold me. She was yeah. the T-Swift fan girl of the 2018 VMAs. Mm -hmm. But it's just so interesting to me that the camera kept panning to her. Like, I kind of felt bad. Like, I was like, is this girl that big of a thing? And I just didn't know. Like, I felt like, you know, of course you're going to put me on the end. Right. <laughs> when we do our recap, because I'm just not as tuned in to what's going on. But that's I, I, that's not the truth. You guys are all shocked. So. I feel like we're giving no. you an I'm gonna insecurity. Drink tonight. I'm going to drink to like, win. 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 To win. To win. To win. To but you know what? I have to. Oh, see, I gave myself mm -hmm. more bad luck. Hold on. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say that I liked that she sort of. The VMAs can make a star, and they, they made do. a star that's last right. night. That's right. And so you know, that's the power. They're, they want to show that muscle, that's exercise true. that muscle, yeah. and everybody's going to be talking about her. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. You know, that's that moment that always happens. You know, it's like maybe someone didn't come up on stage and steal her award. Right. But I wish she, they did. It right. would have been more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but she got herself to that place, and that was sort of like I think that launching moment for she her. She did. Well, Whether she also she deserves has, it or not is up to you guys. She also has a huge fan base. Um, mm -hmm. So the, I mean, it is a fan voted award. So I mean, they did. They went out and made sure that she got it. So and also, I think the biggest shock of the shock was her thanking Madonna. Yeah. Well, because the bowing why? down. The bowing down. The bowing, the bowing, bowing down. 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 Was a little. Yeah. Much. But you know that moment when you're like really nervous and you just like say the first so, thing you 100%. see. one hundred percent. I feel like I she probably like, would have done that too. And this is to Madonna. <laughs> right. Just like because she was right there. Totally. I mean, so. I will tell you guys when I met Madonna. Uh huh. I was like sweating and shaking and <laughs> it was a totally I never would have thought that I would have been so yeah flummoxed so like she's a gigantic she star I have never met, I've never met Madonna. What either. happened, Gwen? Why didn't you take me with you? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's the only people who meet Madonna are on the end. I was just gonna say, if I put you in the middle, if I switch seats, can you take me to meet Madonna next time? Yeah. Come on. Well, I know why I didn't meet Madonna yeah. because I wouldn't behave. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I, I understand. I know. I know my place. Um, Danielle <laughs> is saying how selfish was Madonna making tribute about making the tribute about her. Danielle, we are going to talk all about that in just oh, a second. Yeah. We so got stay you. tuned. Oh, yes. we, we got you. Yes, on that. but let's keep it rolling right along. We, let's move on to our most memorable moments of the night. I have a couple. Yes. My first goes to Jennifer Lopez, who received the Video Vanguard Award. Awesome performance, which we will get to in a little bit. But I also really enjoyed her speech. I thought it was great, it was very humbling, and it showed just how hard she has worked over the past 20 mm -hmm. years. And she gave a special shout out to A-Rod, so let's take a look at this. I knew I had to go higher, I knew I had to be stronger than I had been before. It was through that unconditional love that my career, my whole life became clearer in every way. And now today, I stand here stronger and better than ever. This was 100% J-Lo's night, and she oh. had her whole family there, which I thought was beautiful. Her mom was there, her uh, kids were there, and of course, A-Rod was there, cheering her on every step of the way. Yeah, as Emily says, J-Lo gets better with time. I totally oh. agree. Beyond it's though, crazy. I, I don't understand What is it. she drinking? I know, maybe no. Kim Crawford. Maybe. Is maybe the cheers. Of you? Cheers to that. <laughs> I mean, we've discovered the really really could, could be. <laughs> Honestly, pause. <laughs> <laughs> I really think... She doesn't look like she still looks so natural. To she does, yes. yeah. Like, like someone that truly just, you know, hasn't done too much no, to keep herself right. looking just ageless. Enough. <laughs> so whatever she does, right. she does just right. right. Just, yeah. But can I say now? I'm gonna have a lot to say about J Lo because we know it's the J Lo show, and when we get to best performance, I know I'm already yep. sort of giving my hand away. So I'm gonna save a little bit on that, <laughs> but. How was she not sweating more when she accepted that award? And how no could she idea. even talk? That's what I am most wowed by. She's I just in she ridiculous little, shape. She got a little powdered. Yeah. She got a little powdered quickly. She did. She, she was in her comfy joggers. Yes, she, she was. She is in incredible shape. Like, you should yes. go to Vegas, Jackie. I, I thought she was going to say, you Washington should work out more, Jackie. <laughs> but no, here's the thing. I, I, don't. I have, I've been, I went to Vegas. I oh, went you did? to the show. Oh, yes. nice. And she sings and dances and pours her heart out it's crazy. for hours mm -hmm. and she is not a teeny bopper mm -hmm. and she is just next level and the professionalism <sighs> and the beauty and I, I met her it's too Adam. Jack met her too 
Okay, Gwen. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> Let Whatever. me tell you this, that my boyfriend has booked two trips, both which in Vegas, Brittany was not performing and Jay oh, was not to performing. Me. And yes. I think he plans in, but well, <laughs> have fun. So I got him to Celine, though. Oh, oh I love nice. Celine. Very nice. That yes. show is incredible. <laughs> but I will say that that actually was my most biggest shock. Was She said so many great things. She did. But yes. I honestly was watching for the beat of sweat. I, and it did not happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Well, she did, like you said, she did. Go me. off and get powdered off right. when uh, Sean Mendes was introducing her. So she did have a little bit of time. She's not inhuman. <laughs> well, the thing is, is you know, J Lo doesn't show the chink in the armor. She no. does not show she it. She is always and flawless. That's, yeah. And she was wearing armor. She and was. Armor. And much. she was wearing actual armor. Actual exactly. armor. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Versace. Uh huh. Armor. But I just love so much that, like, at this point in her life, she has truly met the love of her life. She has. Yes. And mm -hmm. they complement each other so well. And you can see, I believe, a change in her. Oh, yeah. And well, him, too. Totally. And, and honestly, you know, here's my boyfriend watching it with me, <laughs> who watches A-Rod, like, uh -huh. comment, do sure, his commentary. Yeah, yeah. And, his, and here he is, like, yeah, yeah, baby. And, like, almost cry. And, you know, it's so amazing, the vulnerability mm -hmm. that they show. Yes. And it's like, I love that she loves hard. And sure. whatever happens, totally. who cares? I love that the kids were sitting on his lap. I love that. I know she's very close with her mom. Uh -huh. You can see that sort of familial connection. Mm -hmm. That oh, even I though love. they are, like, the biggest oh, my God. stars <laughs> in the world, they're <laughs> all just bombs. still sitting there like like that's a family going to the movies that yeah. was like them going that was to the, the movies, movies. this oh, is their totally. level just a normal night yeah. out <laughs> like night take out. your kids yeah. to work day and I, but I feel like I don't see her kids that much you don't you don't not you know? too much and for me more anyway, so now that she's been with him because they post a lot of photos of the family right, all together all the group acts, yeah which mm -hmm. is but you know what I love it I, I love, love it. that she loves hard and I love that she called him his macho her, yes his, him, her macho, macho yeah <laughs> Shawnee would take your picture on the red carpet oh I thought you were gonna say Shawnee my macho that too that too, Shawnee but like macho. he takes her pictures yeah. and he like, supports you. I know, you he does need a shout out because he does. He do, he's a good Insta boyfriend. So. <laughs> he is, he is. All right, another memorable moment of the night for me. Oh my God, guys, Backstreet Boys. <gasps> yes. They're back. They're, um, always, they're, back. they're back. always back. They performed on the VMA pre-show, should have been the main show. Yeah, totally. Um, <laughs> but they were fantastic. They were so good. It brought me back to like 1999. Aww. Like, listen, I... Fangirl, I did meet the Backstreet Boys. I did meet the Backstreet Boys. Hot, yes. hot, me too. <laughs> and I fangirl hard then, and I'm gonna fangirl fan hard yeah. now because they never get old they like don't. Jay Lo. Yeah. And you know what? I come from the era of the Britney Spears mm -hmm. mega mixes and the NSYNC rivalry. Aww, yes. Were you BSB or NSYNC, Jackie? I was BSB. Okay, good. <laughs> um, and don't tell Nick Lachey that because he gets mad. Cause <laughs> I worked with him a lot and I love him. He's actually the most awesome guy. But. It's because of him that I interviewed the Backstreet Boys on the uh -huh. carpet, and I sang I Want It That Way with nice. them. And oh, it's my, so one fun. of my favorite moments of all time. And when they came on last night, I still, like, was like <laughs> no, cheesy it's, it's, fangirl. Sure. And I can't help myself. Mm -hmm. And I think even when they sang the nominees... <laughs> Yes. I like, that was actually my second for best performance. <laughs> so, what can I say? They're I'm so a BSB good. girl for life. Yes, totally. They were fantastic. All right, Jackie, what was your most memorable memorable moment of the night? Okay, how about the opening with Kevin Hart yes. and Tiffany Haddish? I feel like they what? brought the so little cute. bit of scandal, the lot of funny, mm -hmm. and I feel like they made a good, energetic sure. I love sort that. of I wish they hosted yeah. the whole show. I know, oh, yeah. but I love that Tiffany went there. She I did. love that she called out Fifth Harmony, mm -hmm. and you know it was like, it's not as dramatic as everybody's making of course. it. You know it's like, fine. Yep. And I love that Nikki <laughs> came up and put her in check, oh, and totally. was like, don't go there. Um, and I love that she asked for a boyfriend, and I love that she was like calling out all the couples in oh, Hollywood, that and just was got like, engaged. is there a sale Beth and uh -huh. Beyonce missing? Because that's how I think. Yes. I'm like, where is that sale? Right. I will go get that sale. Um, but I feel like she was just so great. I love she was. I love her. So I do too. She's getting a toast. Toast. As one of my most memorable. And I thought Kevin Hart egged her on. Oh, I love her. him. Like, He's I think adorable. Now I want to go see that movie. And now I don't mind that shameless plug. Right. Because those shameless pl plugs, by the way, are like they not work. my faves. No. But. They get a pass uh -huh. because now I want to go see that movie and I love them and that's it. <laughs> totally. Very much. Totally. Love it. Um, you you also had Miss like? mm -hmm. oh. Cardi B. I oh. loved all things uh. Cardi B. She's fantastic. Okay, so 
to get a little personal, my family every day is like, can you have a baby already? And I love that Cardi B got up there and was like, I carried that baby, uh -huh. I had that baby, and now I'm still winning those awards. I know, I love that. That, that was fantastic. Aww. She's so great. She, everything she says is amazing. Yeah, no, everything she does she say is, is amazing. the voice of a generation. Like, she I really, really is. feel like she is. I also loved when she received her award. I don't think she knew who Millie Bobby Brown was. I felt oh. so bad. And she was like, girl, hold this. Girl, hold this. <laughs> this oh, is hey. heavy. <laughs> that was, that was pretty she, bad. I feel like she has an innocence. Like, she doesn't, you know, she just says. Yeah, totally. And I, and I live for that. Yeah. You know? I think she was, everything she did, Oh, and in the beginning, guys, were you fooled? Because I definitely oh, thought she was I, breastfeeding. See, I don't know. I didn't think that she would do it. I thought yeah, it. Yeah, did you? I, I, I guess I'm naive. I bought it. <laughs> totally bought in. And I'm like, Sean, hello. He's Baby. Like, oh, my God. And then yeah. she's like, moon man. Right. She got me. <laughs> she yeah. got me. Uh, at least it was cute. I mean, it was mm -hmm. funny. It was like an adorable little shack. But yeah. she pulls off the shack. She shtick. does. She always does. It would have shocked me if she had that shtick. baby. But, you know, there would have been a lot of She's done crazier backlash. things. Uh, Lisa is <laughs> saying Cardi B dress needed some assistance. Oh, yes. When she was getting up to uh, receive her award, she yes. was a little confused of where I, to go. I, feel I like felt every, bad for her. Everybody yeah. was tripping. Yeah. I, Cardi was tripping. A lot Mickey of stairs. was tripping. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, I liked seeing them help each other. I do. And that was cute. And I feel like it was a night of the ladies. It was. I have to 100%. I don't remember any of the men that were there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, Sorry, BSB. Guys. BSB. BSB. Besides BSB. Makes up for the guys. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, it was like total Cardi. Mm -hmm. Nikki. Yep. Powerhouses, yep. uh, you know, mm -hmm. and um, J Lo to lead the pack. Sure. And I just live well, let's that. be honest. It's a year of, of the it's women, a year of the ladies. Guys. Cheers Sorry to guys. that. We gotta do a toast. Cheers power. to that. Listen, the guys still get the credit. We love mm -hmm. our we love our guys, but I'm loving the ladies. Yes, loving too. the ladies. So, all right, Gwen, what was your most memorable? Well, you know, speaking of it being a year of the women, mm. it's also just a year of many powerful like social statements, issues yeah. and mm. social statements. Exactly. I loved logic on stage mm -hmm. with the immigrants. It was like, to me, very, very powerful and very, very emotional. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And this was, I think, I don't know if it was last year's VMAs or movie awards when he did um, his the 1-800 song. And he yes. also made a really powerful statement at the award show, too. So yes. I think that he's using this platform for good, which well, is he, great. He always says, mm -hmm. like, the three things, and positivity being one of them, yep. right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I love I love the ability to be powerful but keep it positive. Sure, exactly. And mm -hmm. that, for me, I actually felt like, I don't like when shows go overboard with statements. With the yes. preachiness. This didn't yes. feel preachiness. This did not feel overboard. Right. I feel like it was expected mm -hmm. and just the right amount. And I feel like I like when they do it through the arts, like actually yes. through, and not just standing up there sure. and saying things, yeah, like yeah. actually show it, you know? Yeah. And I think that was really cool. I thought he did a great job. Very yeah. cool. All right, let's move on to our most bizarre moment of the night. Um, I think we're all in agreement I think, on Yeah, this. I think so. Uh, Madonna paid tribute to Aretha Franklin, but really just paid tribute to Madonna. <laughs> Take a look at this. Aretha Louise Franklin changed the course of my life. I left Detroit when I was 18, $35 in my pocket. I don't understand what she, where she was going with this. I mean, nice. you know, I, <laughs> I don't even know. Don't even it was know so what, bizarre. Yeah. 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 She yeah. definitely she, fell into the category of bizarre. Yeah, she received a lot of backlash on Twitter mm -hmm. and on social media for this because here you are, um, you know, respecting one of the most powerful voices of our time, That's and right. you just spin it around and kind of make it about yourself. I feel like MTV, the MTV really missed the mark on how to pay tribute, pay tribute to her. Mm -hmm. Like, look at Ariana Grande, who just did it on Jimmy Fallon the other night. Beautiful. Right. This just right. didn't didn't feel right. But I wonder if it was MTV or if Madonna just or if Madonna went, just did her Madonna. own thing. Madonna Maybe. just exactly. turned sixty. Right. Mm -hmm. I love Madonna as yes. as we've discussed. Love Madonna. We all know. Bestie, right. bestie, bestie, best friends. Bestie. <laughs> Totally connected, me and Madge, BFF. But you know, she just turned 60, had this huge bash in Morocco. Mm -hmm. I was really excited and um, it just in awe of the fact that Madonna, this icon, is turning 60 and owning it. But then there were just so many pictures on social media that I started mm -hmm. to feel a little bit awkward sure. about it. Yeah. And then last night, I was sort of like, 
where what is are you this doing? going? And yeah. why are you wearing that? And right. You, you know what she was like? She was like the, the drunk uncle. Like, yeah. <laughs> giving the speech where you're like, is this going to go anywhere? Uh -huh. Or, you know? So, right. maybe she had maybe a she little had some bit Kim of Crawford. <laughs> could be, could be. But I feel like it was, I, I wanted to get, I wanted to get the message, and I was like, I, is she going to, where are we going? And then I'm like, no. Nowhere. This went nowhere. nowhere. And then by the end, I was just like, what was that? Right. It was like, that. what was that And then reaction? it just went right into video of the year. It just it felt and very... And I wanted to hear more about Aretha. I know. This exactly. whole week, I've been waking up to, you know, you make me feel like an actual yeah. woman. and. I, uh, at least give us a little of it. Right. At least yeah. sing a little bit. I know. Of it. That's Come what on. I thought. Like we would. You have, like we said, so many powerful voices in the audience. Why didn't you put something together of really great tribute? It, it, they very much missed the mark on this one. But what can you do? It's Madonna. It's and Madonna. She's gonna do as she wishes. Right. Exactly. So, there you exactly. Go. Um, <laughs> when you also had a most bizarre moment. So I thought that when Ariana Grande like thanked Pete Davidson and and told him that you know thanked him for just existing, like she told him that. <laughs> he was her favorite because he existed. Like, I was like, what? Right. I love their love. I think that right now in the world, like, we need more love and we need more of this kind of, like, power of instant mm -hmm. love. But it was like a little, those two seem mm -hmm. so kooky. And I'm like, sure. are they ever going to actually make it to the altar? And I know, that's what, I don't statements know. like that make me just question the right. sanity of the whole we, thing. We right. spoke to Frankie Grande on the carpet last night, uh, Ariana's brother, and he said that they are like yin and yang, that they calm each other, that they are very good for each other, that they're basically they're like the perfect match. The family loves him, so, and they're in the very early stages of wedding planning. So, you know, I mean, they're in the very early stages of their, their relationship. <laughs> so, their, they've only been dating for a month. So. I mean, listen, I'm someone who's of the mentality, I'm on 15 years, still uh -huh. making sure we're good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm a little bit uh -huh. still did myself, so I won't call people out love is love. Right. But I will say I'm a little bit in awe of all the the coupling right now. It is. And it's, so, it's a lot. It's a trend. <laughs> I know. And so it's trending. What can we say? Uh -huh. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptic. I hate to be that way. But, but who um, do you think is going to make it to the altar first? Mm -hmm. Ariana and Pete mm -hmm. or Justin and Haley? Oh, I was going to say Nick and Priyanka. I, then we have Nick oh, and well, Priyanka. Nick and Priyanka. That's real. Yeah, they just that's, had real. Their <laughs> that's, real. that's real. Indian commitment That's real. That's real. Um, I would say then Justin and Haley, I think. You think? I do. Maybe. I don't know. I don't see Justin making it. No. I don't. I, I, you know, but then again, he's always surprising. That's true. Maybe he'll bring his monkey, whatever. Right. I, you know, <laughs> whatever. We'll see what happens. Crazier things have happened. All right, let's move on to our final category. Best performance, hands down, we all agreed, Jennifer Lopez. Ugh. Beyond. Beyond. She deserves the bow. Oh, 100%. Know? Look at her. Flawless. Flawless, flawless, flawless. She sang all of her biggest hits on the floor. She brought out Ja Rule. She brought out GJ Khaled. By the way, Ja Rule had the best night Look out of everybody. Look at her body, <laughs> you guys. Look at her body. Yeah. How much did you love seeing Ja Rule? I love Ja Rule. Like, he was having so much fun in the audience, too. He was having the best night. Lisa said J-Lo's performance put all the younger performers to shame. That's right. Yes, they should and all learn a little something from totally. J-Lo. Do you know what? I feel like when somebody tries to do that many songs, mm -hmm. a lot of the times it feels too rushed mm -hmm. and, like, you don't get enough of it. She nailed, nailed that. It. Oh, so nailed it. right. Nailed because it. first of all, when she started to sing If You Had My Love, mm -hmm. it literally brought me back to TRL. Yeah. Like that oh, moment of sure. like watching that video mm -hmm. and being like, is she gonna be a singer now? Yeah. I mean and she does. She is that triple threat like nobody else. Nobody. And the fact that she keeps piling on more and more on her schedule mm -hmm. And it's being incredible. a mom, and being a girlfriend, you know, like right. I just love how she handles everything with such grace, and I love that that's the closest she's going to come to riding the subway. Again. Yes, one hundred percent. We don't, we don't she know. Never. I want to oh, imagine I she takes I that. Know. She I know. never does. That four or five <laughs> up to the Bronx. You know, I know. Seeing her with the wind machine on her and the hair, it almost reminded me of Beyonce, and it made yes. me remember that like before there was Beyonce, there was J Lo. Oh yeah. Just, you can't compete with that woman. She's the I queen. do. I do. She's just talent in all directions. Mm -hmm. She does each one of them so, so well. well. I and love she watching does. her movies. I love watching mm -hmm. her dance. I love watching her sing. I, I mean, love just all of it. It's true. Not not many people can do 
every everything. single thing so well, That's and right. she totally nails it. Um, I love that MTV does this with the video Vanguard and like yes. just lets these uh, performers just have their moment, their 15, 10, 15 minutes. It's a really cool thing, and I'm excited to see who the, who they will pick for next I year. I know. And how totally. are they going to top Jayla? I don't know. Guys. I don't know. Brainstorm some people. Yes, for us, please. How are they going to top? I don't know. But it, it, overall, I think it was a great VMAs. I know. It was. A great yes, VMAs. it was. So cheers to the VMAs. Thank you, Kim Crawford, for helping us through yes. our VMA panel. And thank you to Jackie. It was oh, so thanks, much fun guys. having you here. So much Gwen. fun. Come so much back. Fun. Yes, please. I love being in the middle of you two. <laughs> it's yes. true. true. I'll be on the end for Jackie. <laughs> I love you, Gwen. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And make sure to check out usmagazine.com for all of your VMA needs. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.